This video is powered by Canada Dry. What is going on guys, it's me Andrew here and um, welcome to this video. I'm going to be starting a new series on my channel called Andrew or Andy Explains. I'll try to make a series out of this and um, I might experiment with that TV show, pretty much aspect of YouTube thing. If you guys know what I mean. Once you become a partner, you have access to a whole bunch of other stuff, but that's beside the point. Um, I'm going to be talking about the difference between lag and frame rate or a low frame rate or low FPS as some people call it and um, this is a word that people pretty much misuse all the time and I even used to misuse this word like um, I made a video a while back titled how to record PC gameplay without lag and uh, I did so without knowing what the word lag actually meant um, but that's what a lot of people call this so I had to put that title in and it pretty much got me a lot of views because well that's what people call it they don't call it low frame rate they call it like um, so I'm here to explain what the difference is so that you guys can know the more you know the better off you are or is it anyway so I'll start off by explaining what low frame rate is or what frame rate is or FPS is or whatever you want to call it so um, with uh, frame rate what frame rate is is that um, imagine okay frame rate is pretty much how many times your computer draws the image on your screen a second okay so frame rate per second meaning that how many times your computer draws the screen or the image on your screen every single time okay so um, let's say you're playing Call of Duty alright and it starts to look like a slideshow okay and you're getting two FPS or two frame rate um, two frames per second okay if you get two frames per second that would mean that your computer is only drawing that image on your screen twice every second and that is pretty much like a PowerPoint <laughs> you can't play the game if it's like that okay um, but if you're getting 30 frames per second it would mean that the computer is drawing that image on your screen 30 different times a second alright now if you guys think about it what video games anything that says video video is pretty much motion picture okay what you're watching right now this video of me is recorded at 30 frames per second meaning that my um my camera or my webcam is taking 30 pictures of me every single second so every time i do this pretty much every single second it's taking 30 different pictures of me and it's gonna pretty much put them side by side by side by side by side and it creates the illusion of motion um another example would be if you guys are familiar with captain underpant books uh they have this thing called fliporama and uh, one side will have an animation here or a picture there and then the other side would have another picture and when you flip them over um, you get a little animation and this is pretty much two frames one frame here the other frame there and when you move it over it creates an animation imagine if I had 30 different uh, pictures and I flipped them over all through at once you would see a much smoother much more high quality crisp animation so that is it for um, frame rate and when um, the pretty much the playable frame uh, rate for the um, that you want to have in a video game is 30 anything below 30 is bad well it's not bad you can still do make do with it but you're gonna have a pretty much crappy experience uh, 30 frames is amazing um, I mean games like League of Legends you don't really need like 60 frames per second even though that would be a nice to have you don't really need that because there isn't much going on on the screen but if you're playing a game like let's say battlefield okay that 60 frame per second will make a huge difference if you um, pretty much uh, play a game like battlefield where like there's a pretty much explosions and stuff going on in your screen and there's a whole lot going on um, so yeah like I said for, um, if you want good frame good gameplay 30 frames and up is the standard at least for now soon 60 frames will be the standard and everybody will stop complaining and us PC gamers will have a standard of like let's say 120 frames per second um, but yeah that is it for low frame rate now I'm going to talk about what lag is and uh, a bunch of people get confused as to the difference between lag and low frame rate um, when you experience lag, lag usually occurs when you're playing a multiplayer game even though you can't get low frame rate in multiplayer that has to do primarily with your hardware so low frame rate got to do with your hardware and if you're getting low frame rate the best thing to do is to pretty much upgrade your RAM your CPU or your graphics card and hardware stuff you can also use tweaks like let's say game boosters and a whole bunch of stuff to free up memory um, but the difference between, between uh, frame rate and lag is that 
Um, lag has to do with your network or your computer's um, network speed, okay? So, let's say you go into a game, all right? And I'm pretty sure you guys have all experienced this, is, um, especially with first-person shooters, especially with the game like Call of Duty. Um, you're pretty much playing, you're all enjoying, you're enjoying the game all nice, and all of a sudden you start to like move slowly around, and the, pretty much your enemy characters or the characters on the screen start morphing all over the place. One moment they'll be like, say here, the next moment they'll be there, then they'll be just pretty much moving all around you, and then you get disconnected. That, when you experience that, that is what actual lag is. And it's got to do with the network, um, your your computer's network speed, or the server that you're playing on. Okay, so um, this is the reason why people prefer dedicated servers over peer-to-peer. Um, -peer, is because let's say I have really crappy internet. Okay, I have really really crappy crappy internet, and um, I'm the host of the game. Okay, if I'm the host of the game, my internet sucks. It's gonna affect um the ping or the pretty much the delay or the um the gameplay of everybody else um but if my internet is good then everybody else will have smooth enjoyable gameplay without any lag so the worse my internet uh capabilities and I'm the host the pretty much more lag the um, other people in the uh in the game will experience so when I'm the host. Usually, the host has zero ping, meaning they have zero delay, and ping is delay. I'll post some pictures and some gameplay later on and explain what I mean by ping. Um, but yeah, um, low f uh, lag has to do with the network. So it has nothing to do with your computer. It has to do with pretty much the server that you're playing on, or the or your internet connection. So yeah, that is about the difference. I'm gonna get into the gameplay side. I'm going to show you guys some gameplay of uh, me trying to play with lag and show you the difference between low frame rate. So that is it for my face part of this video. So yeah, let's get into the other stuff. Alright guys, so what you guys are currently looking at right now is um, the Modern Warfare 3 um, dedicated servers uh, menu. So when you're trying to get less lag in the game or in a multiplayer game, uh, what you want to pay attention to the most is um, this part right here where it says ping and it's highlighted right now. Where it says ping, you want to pay attention to that because the less the ping is, um, the less lag that you will experience in that server. Now of course with peer-to-peer -peer networks or peer-to-peer -peer, um, uh, lobbies and stuff like that, there is no way to know what the ping is unless you are, or what your ping that you're getting is unless you are in the game. Um, so pretty much the lower your ping, the better off you are. And of course, sometimes um, the servers with low pings don't have um, that many players inside. Like you guys can tell, of course, Modern for 3 is an old game now. And pretty much Call of Duty Ghost is coming out soon. So uh, you want to find a server with the, with the lowest ping possible with the most or a lot of players inside so you guys can enjoy. So in this case, I'll be using this one right here where it says First Rangers um, Crouch. Clutch and Team Deathmatch, even though I don't want to play Team Deathmatch, I um, might just join it just because it's got a low ping and I can enjoy myself playing the game. Um, so the higher your ping is, the worse it is. So I'll show you guys what I mean by high ping. Alright guys, so um, this is what I mean by a high ping. Um, it's pretty much when I change the order of the um, ping um, menu by pretty much from highest to lowest. Uh, you guys can tell that the highest ping or the delay is 366 and I think it's measured in milli milliseconds or yeah milliseconds so uh, that's the delay of the latency between my computer's connection or my computer's connection and the server itself so I wouldn't be want I don't want to play in the server that with such a high ping because well I'm gonna start lagging all over the place and it's not gonna be a fun experience so up next would be some gameplay well I couldn't find any I couldn't join a server with um, people in it uh, and that had a really high um, latency so yeah I should have joined this arcade and infected but oh I didn't want to play infected so yeah show you guys the gameplay about right now alright guys so one more thing before I actually show you guys the gameplay um, when you're in the game and say it's a peer-to-peer -peer network you want to look at uh, you want to press tab and usually it will tell you what your ping is in numbers but in Call of Duty games it uses um, visual so you guys can tell that this guy um, Edward Inc he has only one bar and that means that he has pretty much crappy connection uh, mine is right here and has three bars so it's playable 
but um, four bars or I think five bars. Yeah, four bars is the optimal setting. So yeah, now I'm gonna show you guys the gameplay. All right, guys. So yeah, I, I was trying to get some gameplay um, with some actual real um, lag in it, but I couldn't find a server that um, would make me laggy. So I decided to pretty much, um, pretty much artificialize it or make a fake one. So uh, you guys can tell that this is a Modern Warfare 2 um, online multiplayer gameplay. So if uh, this is a regular, I think this is the regular speed. Um, oops, this is the regular speed. Um, so I'm in the theater mode. This is the regular speed, but if I was to be experiencing lag, um, it would look something like this. Out, it would be slowed down, and the characters around you would be morphing pretty much all over the place, and you would not be able to hit them. And it gets annoying when you sometimes get lag. Um, but with Modern Warfare 3, I, um, what happens is that when the lag is unbearable, um, it just picks a new host since it is not dedicated service. It picks a new host and um, everybody's happy, but um, maybe because I was playing on a dedicated server, I found it much harder to um, experience lag, but yeah, like I said, you could be still getting 30 frames per second or 91 frames, that's which is the cap in uh, Modern Warfare 3, and um, still experience lag, and pretty much, um, you start morphing all over the place, the game space will slow down, and uh, what would happen is that um, characters in front of you, so like, Let's say this guy. Let me try to find. Skip to a part where I. Okay, you see where I got killed right here. Well, where I got killed. Characters in front of you, um, like that guy over there, who start morphing all over the place, and you wouldn't even see him. So yeah, that's pretty much the difference between lag and um, lag and frame rate. So yeah, that's just a quick example. So guys, if you find this video helpful and. Um, enjoyable be sure to give a thumbs up comment rate and subscribe so yeah subscribe for more more videos and a whole bunch of other stuff so yeah later guys peace